During the Golden Age of Piracy, the civilized world saw the rise of several pirate captains who terrorized the merchant shipping routes by attacking and looting ships to steal valuable goods. In today's video, we will learn about some of the most famous pirates in history. William Kidd was one of the most famous and unlucky pirates in the world. Born in Scotland in 1645, he moved to New York to work as an apprentice aboard a privateer ship. At first, he became a pirate hunter and married a wealthy woman. A few years later, William was given command of a warship and was instructed to hunt down the pirates of the Red Sea. William was forced to hire sailors who later turned out to be pirates. After capturing an Indian ship, William was considered a pirate and hunted down. William sailed back to New York to hide, but was captured and arrested. He was sentenced to death in England, and, during his execution, the noose rope tore, and the hangman had to replace it to hang William Kidd a second time. Charles Vane is a mysterious figure in the Golden Age of Piracy. His date and birthplace are unknown, but historical accounts portray him as a bold and ruthless pirate. His presence was first reported in the early 18th century, plundering Spanish ships in the Gulf of Florida. Many privateers tried to capture him, but Charles Vane always fled. Once, when he was surrounded by the British Navy, Vane set his flagship on fire and sent it directly against the British fleet. The burning vessel was enough of a distraction for Vane to escape on another ship in his fleet and avoid capture. Vane's crew eventually rebelled against him and stripped him of command of the pirate ships. Vane was stranded on an uninhabited island in the Caribbean, but was rescued by British sailors. However, Charles Vane was promptly identified and hanged in Jamaica in 1721 for his crimes. Captain Henry Morgan is one of the most famous pirates who terrorized Spain's Caribbean colonies in the late 17th century. Quietly supported by England, Morgan became the head of the Jamaican fleet and affected Spanish rule in the region by making it difficult for them to gain access to the West Indies. Morgan reportedly plundered over 400 ships throughout his career as a pirate. His greatest achievement was capturing Panama City with 30 ships and 1,200 men, achieving his greatest plunder to date. For his attack on Panama City, he was arrested and sent back to England. But, in the meantime, a new war broke out between England and Spain, and King Charles II knighted Morgan and elected him deputy governor of Jamaica. In that territory, he lived as a highly respected farmer until his death. One of the most renowned pirates in the Caribbean, Sir Francis Drake was seen as a noble to some and an outlaw pirate to others. In 1572, he was elected as a privateer by Queen Elizabeth I. With his large ship, the Golden Hind, Sir Francis led several successful raids against the Spanish naval fleets, raiding and pillaging many cities under their control. He fought the Spanish with such ferocity that he was nicknamed El Draque, meaning the Dragon. Sir Francis Drake was the first Englishman to sail the Pacific and circumnavigate the globe. Drake amassed great wealth during pirate raids and shared this with Queen Elizabeth I. He was also an important naval commander against the Spanish Armada, a huge fleet of Spanish ships that unsuccessfully tried to invade England and overthrow the Queen in 1588. Anne Bonny was a female pirate as menacing as her male counterparts. The daughter of a farmer, Anne was born in Ireland in 1698. He moved to South Carolina and then to the Caribbean, from where she set sail in the early 1700s and began her maritime adventures aboard a ship. Anne began pirating by disguising as a man on the ship of Captain Calico Jack, with whom she had a secret romance. Anne and Jack were captured in Jamaica in October 1720. Anne Bonny was sentenced to death, but the execution was postponed because she was pregnant. She was to be executed after giving birth, but Anne was never put to death. Some have claimed that her father, a very wealthy merchant, intervened and managed to get her out of prison. Known as Black Bart, Bartholomew Roberts was one of the most successful and violent pirates famous for his bravery. Born in 1682 in South Wales, 
Roberts, as a young man, was enslaved on a merchant ship. Bartholomew was forced to join a crew of pirates when the ship he was on was attacked and captured. Bartholomew quickly realized that piracy was a good opportunity. Black Bart was cunning, calculating, and daring. From Africa to the Caribbean, and everywhere in between, he ruthlessly hunted, plundered, and captured more than 470 ships during his career, considered a record among pirates. In 1722, Bartholomew Roberts was killed in a battle between his crew and the British government. His death was considered by many to be the end of the golden age of piracy. Henry Avery was known as the King of Pirates for being responsible for history's most lucrative pirate raid. Henry's legend lasted well beyond his death. We don't know much about Henry Avery's early life, other than that he served in the British Royal Navy for some time before becoming a pirate. Henry and his crew sailed off the coast of Africa, raiding and plundering many ships, including French and Danes. Henry Avery's greatest triumph was when he joined forces with other pirate ships to attack a convoy of ships bound for Mecca. The reward for this attack was a treasure valued at nearly 100 million today. A large reward was offered for the capture of Henry Avery, but he was never found. Francois Lalonnais started out humbly as a poor man, working on a plantation in America as a hired servant. When he took up piracy, the Frenchman became known for his cruelty to his enemies, as well as his success in raiding many cities and capturing many ships. Among his most successful plunders was the city of Maracaibo, Venezuela, where he stole wealth of about 200,000. His cruelty marked his career, as he is said to have captured a warship in Cuba and beheaded the entire crew. On another occasion, Francois ate the heart of a Spanish soldier during one of his many raids. But his death was equally horrific. Francois and his crew ran their ship aground on a sandbar off the coast of Panama and were captured and eaten by a cannibal tribe. One of the most successful pirates in history was a woman named Qing Shi, or Zheng Shi, in Mandarin. Born into poverty in Guangzhou, China, in the late 18th century, Qing married a pirate in 1801. The couple consolidated control of the region's rival pirate gangs into a confederation, but Qing's husband died in 1807, and she took sole control of this pirate confederation. Qing secured control of the pirates through alliances and a strict legal code. At the height of her power, Qing, also known as the Queen of Pirates, controlled a fleet of 1,200 ships manned by some 70,000 pirates. Qing dissolved the confederacy in 1810 and negotiated a generous surrender agreement with the Chinese government. The pirates were not only pardoned for their crimes, but some were allowed to keep their ships and join the Chinese Navy. Edward Teach, better known as Blackbeard, is one of the most famous pirates in history. Feared and admired by pirates in the West Indies, Blackbeard had an image that gave him a demonic personality. His ship, Queen Anne's Revenge, is one of the most famous pirate vessels in history. He commanded a pirate army that captured more than 45 ships. In 1718, Blackbeard fell into an ambush by the British Royal Navy that marked the end of his reign in North American waters. After a fierce battle, Blackbeard's crew was captured and his head was decapitated and hung in front of the ship to warn other pirates that his reign of terror was ending. Legends about Blackbeard and his buried treasures spread around the world and were immortalized in countless stories.